everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm going to show you how to make an incredibly easy rosemary and sea salt artisan loaf. So let's get started. The ingredients you will need for this recipe are one package of yeast, one tablespoon of honey, one cup warm water, one tablespoon of sea salt, two and a half cups of flour, plus a little bit more for dusting and working with the dough, one tablespoon of fresh rosemary, and one quarter cup of olive oil. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do before you start putting any flour in the bowl is to move the bowl out of the way and add your yeast into your warm water. This should be warm, not hot. You don't want to kill the yeast. You just want to activate it. Put it in, mix it around a little bit, and wait for it to get all nice and bubbly. We're going to put that out of the way. The next thing that we are going to want to do is we're going to want to add two and a half cups of flour to our bowl. One, two, and a half. We're going to want to add the salt. oil and the honey. I'm going to give it a little mix just so the salt isn't all on one side because if you put the salt and the yeast together too quickly then it kills the yeast off. And now we can add our water and our yeast mixture the bowl. Give it a little bit of a mix up here. It should be a nice wet dough to begin. I'm going to add a little bit more flour onto my workstation. Alright. Next thing we want to do Move everything out of the way and put a nice, generous handful of flour down on the workstation. It chops to be my countertop. And we're going to move the dough out and cover it with flour. We're going to give it a couple kneads. We just want to mix everything thoroughly and build up that gluten. So we're going to knead for about five minutes. And there's our dough. All right, so now that we've added everything into our dough, everything except for the rosemary, we're not adding that in yet. So we're gonna put our dough in a greased bowl. So I just used cooking spray on the inside of this. We're just gonna plop our little baby dough ball in there, and we're going to cover it with a nice little blanket to keep it warm. Now normally, what I do is I put it on top of the stove or next to the stove where it's a little warmer just so it helps it rise a little faster. If your house is uh, particularly cool you might want to look at doing that. Today I'm just going to keep it out on the counter because we, it, the house is nice and warm and I don't need to do that. <laughs> so it's going to rise for about an hour. Uh, you want it to double in size so get twice as big as what we're seeing right here. So I will see you all back in one hour. Welcome back. So it's been a little over an hour and our dough has finally risen. So let me show you what it's looking like now. 
as you can see, it is about double in size, which means it's ready to go. And our next step is going to be tipping it onto our lightly flowered workspace. I'm just going to tip it out very gently. There it goes. That's what you want. You want it just to fall right out of there. So our next step is to take our rosemary and to add it into our dough. We have to be very gentle with this because we've just spent, you know, now we're putting air into it. We're letting it put air into itself and we don't want to deflate the dough entirely. So what I recommend is once your dough is on your counter, take your hands and you spread it open a little bit. Create a well. You dump your ingredient in and then you kind of fold it over itself. And then you work at kneading it. See all those little pieces of rosemary in there. They're working their way through the dough. It's starting to stick to my hand, so let me flour it up a little bit more. And it's okay if you lose one or two. <laughs> rosemary is pretty potent and it smells amazing. So it's going to smell really nice while it's cooking. And we're almost worked through. to be too concentrated in any one part because then that part is going to be obviously taste way more like rosemary than the rest of it. Rosemary is a great flavor but not in excess. So there we have it. We've made it into a little ball and our next step is to be putting it onto a cooking sheet. So I have one back here that I have prepared. It has a little bit of cornstarch on it and a sheet of wax or a wax paper or parchment paper. This is parchment paper. So you're just going to put your little dough ball that now has the rosemary in it onto the cookie sheet and once again we're going to cover it with a towel and we are going to give it about half an hour just to rise a little bit more. So I'm going to put it on the stove this time so I want it to rise a little faster and a little bigger. And so I'll check back in with you all in about a half an hour. <laughs> all right so it's been about half an hour and it's time to put our bread in the oven. I have the oven set at 450 degrees and it's going to go in for about 40 minutes. So let me show you how the bread is looking. Here is our dough. It has risen quite considerably since we put it in there and it's looking very, very nice. So let me set up the camera so I can show you how I'm going to put things into the oven. All right, so when you open your oven, you want to have your two racks set up kind of like this. One very, very low, and the other kind of on a medium. The ice goes on the low, and it's going to start creating that steam in there. And then you're going to put your loaf of bread on the middle one. And then just close your oven. So time is up, and our loaf is done. Let's check on it and see how it's doing. <laughs> Here we go. It's looking gorgeous. It's very golden in color. And it smells really nice too. So the loaf looks really nice and we should probably cut into it and see what it looks like on the inside. And I'm gonna grab it with a pot water. It's because it is fresh from the oven. <laughs> Wanna see the show everyone what it looks like. Ooh, nice and warm. It smells delicious. <laughs> All right, so the loaf is done and here it is. And if you like this video and like the kind of content that I'm putting out, make sure to subscribe to my channel and comment if you guys have a favorite bread or a favorite um, baked good that you really enjoy creating yourself. And let me know if you try this recipe and how you think it, uh, it goes for you guys. All right, see ya.